So, Pigeonland, I am back again. Um, so, great reception to the 100 Euro Cup last night, uh, by all accounts from everybody who, uh, who seemed to look at it. I've already had a few contacts of people who want to get involved with us uh, racing for the likes of the Cup and with the BICC Racing. Um, however, I have even more exciting news to give everybody today. So, um, last night after I put the video up, I was actually contacted by the people who gave John Thompson the cup. I have to say, uh, I was over the moon to get the contact uh, and to find out a little bit of history about the cup, a little bit more history about the cup. Um, so, the last man to win this was a chap called John Cairns, and he was down with the Ballybock Club. Well, that was called the City of Dublin Club, it was in the Ballybock area, it was the Ballybock Club at the time, or what it was known as. John Cairns won it in 37. He won it in, let me see, uh, let me see, where are we going? Let me see in a couple of days. He won it in 1930 and he also won it in 21. So 21, 30 and 37. A man called John Cairns of uh, Fisbury, Bollybock, that kind of area, Drumcondra uh, area, won the cup. And back in the day, if you won a cup, if you won a race, your name was on it three times, you got to keep the cup. So anyway, uh, I got contacted by uh, two granddaughters of John Cairns, uh, who gave T John Thompson the cup. And uh, after having a brief conversation with, well, not really a brief conversation, quite an in-depth conversation about the cup, and uh, the actual history of it being 100 years old, and the fact that it was in their family for, well, since 1937 to now, so nigh on 80, 83 years, um, I think it's only fitting, and I have talked to John Thompson about this, we're actually not going to call this the John Thompson Perpetual Cup. We're going to call it the John Cairns Perpetual Cup in memory of John Cairns, the man who actually owned the cup for all those years. Um, John was obviously a member of the, the, the Bollybock, the Dublin Homing Club, as it became from the Dublin City Flying Club. I'm sure that's what it became because the granddaughters I was speaking to said he raced in the club down there in Bollybock, which would be the club, incidentally, I grew up in, in Pigeons, um, the Dublin Harmon Club, which is really, really amazing. So I even had a chat with my dad there today, and actually he thinks he remembers John Cairns that would have actually owned this cup back in, the. my dad would remember from the 60s and 70s. Um, absolutely amazing stuff like really really amazing stuff so so i'm hoping to get a lot more information on the cup from the family and um, meaning that we can uh, I, i'm hoping they're going to do a little write-up on it to be quite honest with you in memory of john cairns and to have this john cairns perpetual cup forever and a day uh, into the all island, if you want to call it, results of the BICC uh, racing from Poitiers. Uh, and just from any races we do from Poitiers, whether it be with the BICC or, or with any other organisation, it'll be for a Poitiers race. That's what I'm going to do. So it's going to be the John Kearns Perpetual Challenge Cup from here on out. Um, yo, I'm here now. So uh, I'm absolutely, absolutely delighted to be able to say, uh, in memory of John Cairns, who owned this cup for 87 years, or 83 years rather, uh, and the family, in the family for that long, um, I'm, it's, a, it's a proud thing for me to actually even have my hands on. I'm fully tried to solder it. <laughs> I may have it repaired. Um, absolutely fantastic. So the Dublin City Flying Club Young Board Cup now becomes the John Kearns Challenge Perpetual Cup from 2021 on. So 101 years after it was forced won. Okay? Delighted, absolutely delighted. Have a good evening, everybody.